Welcome back to the channel guys. So the sun is finally shining in the UK and it's the perfect time to get out on the Brompton. And today's topic is about really useful upgrades and accessories and also some DIY hacks. So we've got seven upgrades we're using on the Brompton and have been using for the past few months and weeks and we definitely worth considering to improve the bike and also help it to fit into your lifestyle a little bit more. So the links to each one is in the description below so, and take a look at them and let me know which one is your favourite. But to start off with, we're going to start with upgrade number one which is the original Brompton Fibrax brake pads. Now this could be considered a downgrade though. These were actually fitted as standard up until 2016 and ours is a 2017 Brompton so had the black Brompton brake pads. Now we changed these in December for the older Fibrax ones and the main reason for that was because they match the calipers better and I also think they look a bit better. So they were pretty easy to change. They actually work really well and we haven't had any issues with them so we're really happy with them but you know we're interested, interested to know what you think about the change so are these, do these look better than the black ones? The next upgrade number two is the easy wheels. Now the standard Brompton wheels are four and a half centimeters and you can see that they're not actually that easy to roll and due to the size you can actually cause a bit of damage on the suspension block if you do try to roll the Brompton. This is one of the reasons why we actually carry the bike in shops rather than rolling it. But the problem is with carrying the bike is it can get pretty heavy after a while. So we're upgrading these to see if we can roll it instead and uh, when we uh, got them the other day they were really easy to fit and all we needed was a 4mm allen key. So we take the old ones out and put the new ones in and the bearings as you can see let these spin a lot better. Uh, there's a significant difference in the size as well. Now we, when rolling it with the seat up on the Brompton it unfolds and the reason for this is that when the seat post is fully down, it stops the unfolding and acts as like a buffer. Um, now thanks to Amanda for the suggestion for some Velcro straps, which we can use to uh, wrap around the wheel and also the frame. And this stops it from being unfolded uh, when the seat is up and also can be wheeled around a lot easier. Just to be aware, if you have the Brompton that doesn't have the rack like mine, so it can rock if you're not careful, if you don't have the rack. The next upgrade, like we just said, is the Brooks saddle. Now, the standard saddle that came with the bike uh, was pretty good. We did about 2,500 kilometers on it, but we wanted to get a Brooks saddle. Uh, main reason is to match the look of the, and the color of the bike with the new wheels and also uh, some of the other upgrades we've got. And also there's more space under, to, under the saddle now to store the Velcro strap. It's really easy to install. Just loosen the penta clip and replace with the new saddle and I think it matches quite well uh, but what we will do is after we've been using it for a while we'll do a separate review in the future. The next upgrade is upgrade number four which is the half foam mount. Now this is the favorite part about this is that it's really easy to fit so it just fits on with this elastic strap and then the foam fits into this webbing now, the foam mounts are great and we use this quite a lot for directions, especially if we're going into new areas or new places that we haven't been before or maybe we're trying to go to an address that we need to pick something up. And the really good thing about this mount compared to ones that uh, mount on brackets is that you can easily rotate it if you want it landscape or portrait. The other really good thing about it is that there's no need to have a bracket on the back of the phone. So we think that's a major bonus because we don't have to have that bracket on there. Uh, and another thing is, of course, because it, it's so easy to put on and take off, uh, it can be used across lots of different bikes as well if you've got more than one bike. So the next up, grade five is frame protectors. Now I did a video on this last month uh, and these are handmade by Jim uh, in Northampton and I really love this. Now, the reason why I wanted to get one in the first place was because the cables rub on the frame and this causes damage after a while. Now there are some other options of using tape and things like that, but um, this frame protector prevents the rubbing when, you, when you're riding along. Uh, but it can also be moved to the bottom near the seat post as well. Thanks to the Velcro, it's really easy to move it around. And that prevents the pedal from marking the frame when it's folding or being folded. But also when you are transporting it, so if you put it into the back of the car and you're worried about the folder knocking into the frame, then you can easily uh, get rid of that issue. I also had the same issue uh, with the stem. 
I mentioned that in the past video as well and that Jim actually sent me this stem protector and it's the same issue with the cable rubbing so the stem protector protects the frame and again it's velcro, it's leather and it's really easy to fit. Now the other advantage that I've found since using this is actually when the bike's folded and you're transporting it around this frame, this stem protector uh, stops it from getting damaged if you knock it especially if you're like me when you go through doorways and cause some damage and scratch the stem whereas with this protector on it it gets rid of that problem as well. Now the next upgrade is number six which is luggage release strap. I was really impressed with the Brompton uh, range that Jim does and when I had a look he also does these luggage straps so I recently got this and the, the problem with with the luggage lever is sometimes if you've got a big bag like we have like the tea bag sometimes when it's on it's quite difficult to find the lever underneath so this is really handy strap makes it much easier it's really simple to install and we think it looks really good on the bike as well now there is a hack you can use if you want to rather than buying one of these you can actually use cable ties now i've seen this on a couple of different youtube channels before and we've been using this actually for the past few weeks to see how it works and i think it's really useful so a couple of cable ties does the job if you want to try that out for yourself and then maybe if you really think it's a good idea then maybe you could decide to buy uh, a luggage release strap for yourselves. Final upgrade is uh, number seven which is hub shines. Now again uh, looking on Jim's website we saw these and we thought these were a brilliant idea. So one problem we have in especially this time of year in the bad weather is the hub and it gets very dirty. Now this is one area which is quite difficult to clean so the hub shine is clean as you ride so as the wheel rotates uh, the hub shine uh, cleans the hub off uh, so i think this is a really nice little accessory for the back and the front uh, and there's another hack if you want to you can try it out before you have a go and uh, buy it uh, using pipe cleaners so if you wrap a pipe cleaner around the hub uh, that will also work uh, although not as well but it will also clean the hub as you're going along uh, which is a cheap alternative if you want to try that out and it might be worth trying it out for yourselves so that's all the accessories uh, and upgrades and hacks for the video guys but which one was your favorite you know as always i'd love to hear your comments below uh, if you've enjoyed the video hit the like and if you haven't subscribed consider subscribing as well because it really helps the channel out thanks so much to everyone that's subscribed really appreciate the support and until next time catch you in the next one